Namaste. You have installed M Editor, and you want to work with Devanagari files, but Devanagari can be converted to all kinds of uh, transliteration schemes or vice versa. So you need a tool. You can do it online, locally, in MS Office, or or M editor, which means that uh, they are all for different types of work you want to do. If the document is a big one, but there are no batch functions, M editor will be the best choice. So, for example, we have the Gretel archive downloaded. It's uh, about one and a half thousand Sanskrit text in TXT. Okay, so let's open one of them. So, if you have not changed any uh, M editor settings, that's the time you want to do some. So, first of all, you see that the text is scrolling away. You just can't read it actually. You don't, you, it's not very convenient. Okay, this is an easy fix. So, here you see there are several ways you can do it okay this looks nice but it's rather small I can't actually read this Devanagari okay so first of all maybe we turn uh, turn on English turn on English uh, I'm not sure where it is. Let me try and find it. Okay, so English. Oh, that's much better. So, um, you want to change the font. Courier new 10 is a small and miserable one. Okay, font. You want to change it. You want to change it at least to Arial Unicode or Sanskrit 2003 to see the ligatures correctly. But you never would want to leave the default font. It's no good for Sanskrit. Okay, so let's try Arial, Arial, Unicode MS, and let's say 14 or 16 move to 14. Okay, and okay, but this you can at least read. So now you can actually work with the document. You can see it. Okay, so uh, this is like Devanagari text, but sometimes you need it converted to Itran's transliteration or even Harvard Kyoto. So what would you do? You would have to download uh, the converter package which I have created from my Dropbox account and. Uh, Let's search for it. Okay, so macros select and search for them on where I have put them. Okay, so we select all files and dev to trans, for example, dev to trans macros. On dev to trans. Okay, so here you see. Here you can see it's a nice iterance. I guess it's still converting. Okay, it's done. There is some error message. Uh, I'm not sure if I should really 
really take it into account. Okay, so we can copy some small part of it. Okay, so it's it runs, and I want to, for example, to convert it from it runs to Harvard Kyoto. Okay, let's go for it. You run. Okay, so it's Harvard Kyoto now. You can see it. Macros. If you want them to see the last macros, you can stretch it like you can stretch it like this way, and they will be here. You don't have to push it. Uh, you don't have to open this macros tab. They can be just here. Okay, so you have Harvard Kyoto, and then you want let's say from Harvard Kyoto to Devanagari which is like here here we go and it's not only this uh, it can convert from the old non unicode fonts most of them as well okay let's me let me see uh, macros run no right run select Select. Let's see. Let's try. Tr okay, trans to Sanskrit one to point to. So now we need dev to trans and uh, select. Select uh, trans to Sanskrit one point two. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, okay. Not everything is working right now. Uh, the M editor, the latest version of M editor, doesn't seem to understand all of them. Uh, it did a few, few weeks ago, okay. So. Doesn't like something. Okay. So there are quite a quite a few of them. So dev to trans means Devanagari to trans, Harvard Keto to Devanagari, Harvard Keto to trans, trans to Devanagari, uh, trans to Devanagari. Okay. So trans to Harvard Keto, Veltius to Devanagari. So this one I don't even know. Uh, CS6 is a outdated one but some still use it another one I don't know this this is only available on, on Gretel this I use often Sanskrit 1.2 is a popular pre UTF-8 font which I convert often from uh, Shriner is an outdated one this is which I tried but I failed need some testing you can get back you can convert a unicode text to the sanskrit 1.2 to test if everything converted right vedic accents i guess this is peter's uh, font need to check if it is the vedic font from 19 year 99 then uh, you can save a few more documents from this pre unicode font okay and a few more this was a bit popular in india the rest is just for history so all of them are rather old well a few have been created lately so you can see it sure you should try it it's um, it's a tool I use every day on an everyday basis for many many years hope you like it See you.